Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the weekly forecast for Sagittarius for the week beginning the 14th of August 2017. How are you doing, Sagittarius? Right, I'm going to get straight on with your reading here. Um, and this week, I really feel work is on your mind, money is on your mind. There's a lot of stuff that I feel you're going to be working through, but this is for you so you can gain an understanding, okay? I feel something around work, it's like having to play fair, if that makes sense. So I don't know if some of you might get wrong at work. I don't know if some of you might be getting more hours or, or something like that. It, but it's, it's, you know, there's something around work where there is a level of fairness being injected into it, okay? So this is all good. There's a lot of creativity, a lot of new. Some of you might be looking for a new job or getting a new job this week because it's like I say, I, I feel that you're working with your hands in some way and I feel like you're doing a lot of it. It's like I'm, a, I'm rubbing my hands here or I'm washing my hands a lot. That, that's what I actually feel. Now, I feel that this month or this week, you are getting a big lesson in money, okay, and looking after your money, because I really feel like there's a sort of Robin Peter to pay Paul, so this is why I'm saying there might be more work coming in, you might be having to do more work rather than wanting to, because it seems to be there's more going out than what's actually coming in, okay? You may get a bill this week, an unexpected bill that you, well, you weren't expecting. If it's unexpected, you weren't expecting it. But something might come out of the blue, you know, and this could be a parking fine. It could be something like that because I do feel it's something got to do with authority. So it's a bill of some sort. It's something that can't be brushed under the table and left aside as well. Um, so I really feel there's a lesson in sort of your your housekeeping. They want to say they, they, there's a lesson in that this week for some for some reason, and I feel that you could even be talking to some officials about money. Okay, in 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 some way, so it could be sitting down with a bank manager and asking for a budget or something like that. There's really really budgeting your money this week. That is that is very important. I feel like there is a level of independence with you, and part of you is feeling really really strong around this. But part of you, I feel that you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. It's like there, there seems to be too much for you to take on all at once at the moment. And this is where I feel that you, you may be, it's like, is somebody taking something from you? Is somebody, um, you know, are you trusting yourself to do this? There's, there's, there's something I want to say here, Sagittarius. There's somebody going to let you down, I feel, this week, okay? I feel this could be somebody you trust. I feel this could possibly be an air sign or a water sign, okay? Somebody is going to let you down in a way, okay? I don't think this is big. It's not bad, but you're going to feel a little bit hurt by somebody's actions. I don't feel you're going to voice your opinion on this, neither. I feel you're going to hold this in, you know? There could be a bit of anxiety around you this week, Sagittarius. It's Like I say, there, there does seem to be a few money worries, but I feel that you're worrying. It's like everything seems to be getting on top of you this, this, this week. And I really feel there's there's quite a lot of nervous energy around, you know. Um, and there seems to be a lot of emotions are coming up. Now, these could be emotions from the past. Some of you could be experiencing a breakup, you know, but there's something that is stopping your happiness this week, Sagittarius, you know, and I feel like you could maybe say something to somebody that wasn't meant, okay? So please watch your words this week um, because there's... I. I also feel somebody's not telling you the full truth about something, Sagittarius. I'm so sorry that this is coming out like this, but I don't think it's in a bad way. Like I say, this is this week is about understanding and understanding from the other person's point of view as well. And I think by doing that, this is going to lessen the anxiety, okay? This isn't just something targeted at you, but there seems like a lot of... Just a lot of hidden things, you know, people not speaking up, people not saying things, but not in a bad way, but just like, 
you know, like, oh, I'm not going to say that. And then you find out and then you, well, why didn't you tell me that? And so, oh, well, I didn't want to cause a fuss. And then there is a fuss. And, you know, it's silly little things like that, you know. And like I say, little white lies can always lead to, to things like this. But I really feel as we get into the week, you are going to feel a lot more in control, especially of your finances. OK, this seems to be a big worry for you, Sagittarius. And I really feel it's like looking at right, okay, what is it I need? What is it I need to survive on? And then actually sort of, I can see you writing down and budgeting as well. Some of you might be looking at moving home and you might be trying to get the money together to do that as well. There is money coming for you, so don't worry. You know, this isn't going to last long. I feel it's only this week where there's going to be, there's going to be this bit of a struggle. But what I want to say to you this week is please take time to rest, Sagittarius. I really feel you are feeling pretty burnt out. This is what I feel. And I feel, like I say, you're feeling like everything is just coming on top this week. You know, we are in eclipse season, so it is like... It is normal, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on energetically. If you can just relax into it this week, you will get through it with ease because next week things will be different or even towards the weekend they will be different because I'm seeing there's a lot more balance coming in for you, okay? But you really need this time of healing. This is what I've, I feel that you need. There's an emptiness around your home life in some way. It's like something isn't right or something isn't there or you aren't there or or something. There's like this little void around your home. And I think this could be making you feel a little bit unhappy as well. There's also you not wanting to speak your truth. It's like you're sort of waiting for this to pass rather than actually addressing it. And I do feel communication is needed massively here because I feel once you communicate, this is when you will be able to move on, you know. There's a lot of like suppressed emotions are coming up, but I feel you're going to be fine, Sagittarius. You know, please don't worry. The sun is shining on you by by the weekend. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel free. You know, any sort of sadness or anything that you're feeling, I feel you're going to walk away from it. OK, you're going to be feeling pretty alone this week. But what I want to say is that is through your choice because there are people around who will help you. But you just need to tell them that you need this little bit help. You need this little bit support. OK, um, some of you may be thinking about going on holiday, but again, the money's not there. So you're sort of, well, should I just go for it or should I? What will happen afterwards? I want to try and say stay put. OK, you can have a holiday at home. This is this is what they're saying. You can have a holiday at home. What you need around you is you need friends. You need people that make you laugh. You need to feel supported here as well. And you need people that are going to show you your future. Now, I feel that there is an earth sign connected with this. And this earth sign is sort of like, you know, I feel they're pragmatic. So they might even sit with a budget for you. And I feel that you might have a, a bit of a having to go cap in hand. It's you don't like getting help. You don't like uh, asking for help, Sagittarius. But I do feel that it's needed here. Um, some of you may be having issues around relationships as well. And it's sort of like both of you seem to be on the on a different page here and I feel if this isn't a breakup or something this could be just feeling disconnected from your partner if you have one or feeling alone if you haven't because there's this yearning for this security I really feel this week you need somebody to put their arms around you and tell you it's going to be okay or right there's people there that will do this I really feel you need to know where your security is I'm so of seeing this and there's a lot around houses living situation and things like that and I feel there's decisions to be made that you are perhaps putting off it's like you're being quite defensive and you know like sort of resisting rather than actually sort of trying to sort this out and this again is getting you feeling worn out as well but like I say, this can be sorted you just need to ask for the help that is actually there um there could be a job offer or somebody may 
give you like a govy job or something like this. Somebody might ask you to do something that is different to your normal job, you know, like on it's on a sideline or on a nighttime or on a weekend or something, you know. Um, and I feel like this would be a good thing because there's sort of a little bit of extra money coming in, which obviously is going to be is going to be needed as well. But you may have to sacrifice something, you know, you may have to stay in this weekend or something like that, you know, because it's like, you know, you can it sort of, you know, live like a champagne lifestyle on a soda pop wage, you know, that's that's what they're saying here, but you're sort of fighting against this, you're keeping people away rather than gathering people in Sagittarius, and I feel this is causing more confusion in, in your head with this, you know, there is nurture there, there's a lot of people that love you, Sagittarius, and a lot of people that want to help you and want to nurture you as well, Please let them, you know, there's balance being brought in here, you know, and I feel like there could be a situation. I don't know if this is with a family member or something like that, but I feel like you could be sort of pushing somebody away when they want to get close or something, you know, but it's like you really need to let people in this week Sagittarius because I feel it's just like I don't want you to struggle on your own like this you know this is how it feels it I really feel this could be mountains out of molehills as well when I'm looking at this this doesn't look too bad okay it doesn't but it's just by not addressing it this is where the problem lies as well and I feel not trusting yourself I'm going to pull another couple of cards just to clarify this week here for you Sagittarius because it all seems a little bit it's like you feel like you're caught in the eye of the storm and I, I, I don't want that I want to bring um, I want to bring clarity to you but it's like there are changes okay there are changes coming so try and not resist them you know because when you resist them they will persist so right okay for Sagittarius this week what do we need to know because this is like I say there's this understanding this is freeing yourself this is bringing peace in or making peace with someone I don't know if that that makes sense to any of you if there's been a fallout that has been making you feel feel bad you know you need to get your energy back up your energy isn't isn't where it should be this week Sagittarius this is I feel is the problem you're feeling very trapped you're feeling like you don't have control of things you do and there is help there like I say there's an earth sign there you know who is who is there ready to help who will bring balance in who will bring healing in for you as well you know and whatever struggles you are going through at the moment you know all you need to do is let people in and they will actually be able to sort them you know I feel it's needed I, I, I really feel this week you need to do this because this fear this anxiety is not doing you any good okay there are people that lay there that love you let them in please you know don't you don't have to struggle alone you're not alone Sagittarius okay so take them barriers down stop fighting stop resisting you know this is when the blocks will move and like I say you know I feel don't bury your head in the sand if there's any financial issues as well you know because like I say they can't be sorted out Everything can be sorted out, but you don't have to struggle alone, Sagittarius. I hope that made sense. Um, I'm going to pull a spirit card and see what we have for you. I, f I feel this is you getting yourself feeling like you're up against it. This is what I'm getting. And, you know, this is, like I say, your head is a bit like a tumble dryer at the minute trying to sort everything out. Let somebody help you. That That's what it's saying. You know, let somebody help you. Right, okay, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Spirit card. Right. New direction. Life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment, yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance. What may appear as chaos is often angelic forces of the universe at work. After the storm clears, you will be steered in a new direction. This is a time of renewed health, joy and abundance. So that's it. So open that heart, okay? Open that heart. Allow people to help you. This chaos, I said it was like being in the eye of the storm. You know, 
every storm passes, okay? Once the storm passes, there's blue skies and sunshine. And this is what is coming for you. So please don't get yourself worked up with this, okay? There are people there to help you. And like I say, there's an earth sign there who I feel is, is, is just... I want to see a phone call away, okay? So I hope that made sense to you, Sagittarius. Sorry it wasn't a little bit more pleasant, but they've they none of them have been very good this week, you know. It's uh, but please don't shoot the messenger. But have an absolutely fabulous week. If anybody would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. The link is below. There's a schedule there. You can see when I'm available and book in for that. Please note that it is on a 24-hour clock. So if you book in for five o'clock. And it say, tells you it's five o'clock, it will be 5 a.m., okay, with the time differences. So if you want five o'clock, it will actually show up at, say, 17. That's what it will be. Military clock, 24-hour clock, okay? Ask for help, Sagittarius. Satnam.